What keeps me going when it comes to track and field, waking up, going to practice, is being able to give back to my mom and my family. My mom struggled a lot to get me here. The biggest memory would have to be having my mom and little brother at Budapest when I got my first medal. But my specific goal for the 2024 season is to get two goals at the Olympics. And having them there is the biggest motivation to wake up every day for practice. My name is Javon Harrison. I am a professional track and field athlete who does the high jump and long jump for Puma. I've been doing track my whole life. Uh, track is something that my family does. My mom did it, my aunties and my godmother did it. So I've been doing track since I could walk or end or run. When Javon was growing up, I always tried to foster in every sports that he wants to be in. It just wasn't one sport was basketball, track, football, soccer. When he was younger, no matter how late, no matter how hard, whatever the task is, he never backs down from it. He always challenged himself and always go above and beyond to always be the best at what he does. So I think that carries over to him now as a young man. I credit my mom for a lot of the person that I am today. Um, she raised me by herself and she's doing a great job with my little brother. My mom has sacrificed a lot. She has been the most supportive person throughout my journey of professional sports and just regular sports. I mean, like I said, my mom was a track and field athlete, but I wanted to shy away from track. I didn't want to do track. I wanted to play basketball, but track kind of sucked me back in. I worked very hard to make sure he was not in need of anything. I worked very hard to know that this is where you want to go, so I'm going to foster it. I'm going to push you. When I got my scholarship, my mom was just like, well, hey, look, you got a scholarship for track. Let's, let's focus on what's, what's, getting, what's paying for your college and see where it goes. And that's what we did. Now, I went to LSU. I'm an LSU Tiger, happy to say that. And my college career was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a little rocky my first year here, but once I got set in the training, uh, my sophomore year on, everything went the way I wanted it to. But once I got to college, I said I was going to be a professional athlete, so I just worked towards her. He's a six-time NCAA champion. He helping LSU men win in the 2021 National Championship. The biggest one, in my eyes, winning the long jump and the high jump at the U.S. Championship. Taking it back 100 years and bringing it forward, like going back in history, um, that has not been done since Jim Thorpe. My first Olympics experience was Tokyo. Because of COVID and a lot of restrictions, we weren't able to roam around Japan. We were kind of confined to the village. We didn't have any fans either, so I feel like we missed a very big aspect of the Olympics. But this year, it should be fun. I turned professional right after COVID, so I want to say that's 2021. I enjoy training here in Baton Rouge. It's hot, which is really my, my perfect weather. I love the heat. I love training in and high intensity heat weather. So I love it out here. And you know, my coach is here. The people I went to college with who still train professionally are here. So like, I know everybody in my training group and we all have a lot of fun here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Today we're in LSU's indoor track and we're doing long jump practice. I'm good, go. What you do today? Bike ride, swim, run? What I did yesterday was Miles had an indoor soccer game and the other team didn't show up. So it's the game oh. parents versus kids. Oh, no mercy, right? No mercy. But I'm feeling no mercy today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing uh, runways today, approach work on the long jump. And so the last year was not a great long jump year. So we're really trying to hammer away on this long jump approach part with him. So it's kind of a bigger speed power day for us. Ah. I set up too much. You did. So remember, like we're trying to do work. You got 20 steps, right? So it's, it's 16 that we do the work. The last four, we just let it flow a little bit. You're kind of trying to amp it up just a little bit too much. And I think that's why you feel like you got to 
set it up because you want to put the brakes on on it. So just flow a little bit more in here. Don't feel like, yeah, yeah. Just don't feel like we got to amp it anymore. Yes. That felt nice, didn't it? Was on the board? You're a little bit over, but we can always back that up. But there you just kind of let elastic energy take over in the last board. That's good. All right, nice job. So that was number three, and I feel like, okay, if that's a me, number three is, you know, first jump of the competition. I think you you got to a point where we're trying to move out and up, not just up. You felt like you moved, like peak was over the sand, not back here. I feel like I'm moving out a lot more. Okay, that's the goal. We got two left in us? Yeah. Okay. Can't really say no in it. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. Next step's gonna be actually getting into meat and seeing what adrenaline does and how we can kind of keep things under control. But we'll go one more time next week with it and then you go, go up to Boston and see, we'll get something done. We have a nice group here for the Jumps group, we have me, Rayvon Gray, Vernon Turner. Well, in the fall, we do a lot more conditioning and strength-based work, so I feel like we laid a good foundation in the fall, and now we're just tuning up technical stuff for each of it. I just haven't had the best two years being a pro for long jump. I finally started putting everything back together last year, and we're getting there again, and training's been going great for long jump, so really it's just going out there and showing to myself and the world that I still can long jump. Consistency is great, especially for trials, because you know what you're going to get out of Hayward Field. Like, if you've competed there enough times, you know everything you need to do. I have a love-hate relationship with Hayward Field. It's a lot of love now, but my freshman year, a little bit of hate, because it was my first NCAAs that I went to outdoors, and I did terrible. I had a little grudge against Hayward Field, but there I got two NCAA titles and two USA championships. So I love Hayward Field now. Love it there, you know? Now it's, it's a great time. Every time we go there, I have a good time and a great competition. The Olympics itself, like the name, the title, it puts a lot of pressure on athletes, in my opinion. You know, a lot of people who don't even really understand track and how it works, they know of track because of the Olympics. I'm never really fully satisfied. Like, even if I go out there and win both gold and log and high jump, I'm gonna want more. So, you know, at the end of the day, the biggest goals are breaking the world records. So I'm just gonna keep pushing myself until I accomplish everything I can in my events. What's up y'all, my name is Javon Harrison and today I'm gonna to be showing you a few of my favorite pieces and accessories.